then we have our first trailer for this and it's in a different universe yet again because that's how the seasons end and start and the umbrella academy uh but they don't seem to really the the family's all there everyone's alive again but they don't seem to really have their powers or their memory um maybe maybe this is more powers but i'm excited to watch the show and see how it wraps up um oh my gosh yeah i watched the i watched the trailer and this is the downside of the binge model of it's just been so long mm -hmm. since I've watched an episode of Umbrella Academy that I forgot how much I love the show. Yeah. Like I love Umbrella Academy so much. I uh, after I watched the trailer, I was watching some related clips. So I rewatched like the Footloose uh, yeah. dancing scene, which is just a great encapsulation of the show in general because you get to see all the characters do their own kind of like dancing and just the tone of the show and. I mean, Umbrella Academy and the boys are kind of some of the best superhero stuff on television right now. And they're both coming back this year, which makes me very excited. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I, It's nice to see Umbrella Academy getting a fourth season. They're going to wrap it up. You know, it, it's yeah. coming from the perspective of this is the final season. There's not going to be any sort of like cliffhanger where Netflix can cancels it. Yeah. So it's it's nice that it's going to be a it's going to be a whole complete story. Yeah. Which is something we rarely get. And I do kind of wonder. Uh, I don't know if Netflix is kind of in this position anymore with them trying to kind of curb budgets and maximize profits phase of the company, but. I feel like in another version of Netflix, maybe we would get have like a spinoff announced by now, you yeah. know, of one of these characters because so, the show's so popular. Yeah, well, the thing is, and, and I put it here like they've actually like the the writer Gerard Way and, and the artists I can't think of the artist's name. They're they haven't made any more books, so they're out of books to follow. Like even this one is not based on a comic book, so they're kind of free free forming it here. So um, absolutely, I'd, I'd love to see you know. I get more content, but I am happy to know that it is a, Hey, we, we told the story we want to tell. We're going to end it on the note. We want to end it. And we don't have to worry about setting things up for another character kind of in a different mm -hmm. universe. Cause I would love to see what um, number five, like his, his, like you, since he can time travel and all that other stuff, like I would love to see like, Oh, Hey, here's an episode of how he got to the future and like lived in, in a different timeline from the first season. Right. Stuff like that. Cause he's like essentially a 60 year old and a, you know, 12 year old's body along the way. But, um, at the same time, it's not, I, I love, I love the, uh, I included the logo on our, our live stream here and they're using like, you know, orange, green, yellow, and red as like the colors, like, the, like kind of like a stoplight kind of thing. And they've not really well, leaned think, into that a little bit. Uh, that, that's that's kind of new for them to have different colors in the, the branding. Yeah, I think they're um, they seem to pick like a pretty strong branding motif every season, which I think is pretty cool. And they seem to be doing like metro subway stops um, yep. with this one. I I would assume that leans into the idea that if I remember right from the end of the last season, all of the characters have been separated from one another. So they're all going to be living their own unique lives yep. and they may or may not remember each other. So yep. I'm guessing that this is like a subway map of them trying to come back together and rekindle. And it, uh, I, there's a shot in the trailer, which is just hilarious where they're all in this like rickety van. old like uh, van. And then yeah. there's like uh, Diego's getting like pumped in the front seat. He's happy to have everyone back together. So this yeah. is, yeah, this is great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll say it on Netflix. I'm excited to dive in check it out. And we'll, we'll probably talk about it after that comes out um but that's it mike that that's the show for this we get a nice little nice little tight show not a lot of news um but you know still still pretty good stuff but if uh, people want to know what you're up to what you're doing what can they 